buenas a todos, bienvenidos a mi canal Bueno, tengo que explicaros varias cosillas importantes, ¿vale? Ahora seguiremos con la trama principal Pero antes quiero decir, no sé si os acordáis que había unas misiones secundarias eh, Bueno, una, que era la, 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 la trama de Tris, la secundaria La de que digamos que nos enrollamos con ella y acabamos acostándonos con ella en el faro, ¿vale? Pues me han explicado de que hay varios finales, como ya os dije Pero que uno de los finales también depende, o sea... Hay varios finales eh, sobre varias cosas, por ejemplo, uno es sobre el tema de quién gobernará por de media y tal, eh, que es la trama secundaria que estamos haciendo de matar al rey, eh, no sé si os acordáis. Pues bueno, en fin, un, otra trama principal que, eh, de las que al final habrá pues, varios finales es de con quién acabará Gerald, si con Jennifer, con Tris o con nadie, ¿vale? Pues realmente si nos acostamos con las dos, eh, pues digamos que jugamos con... O sea, no sé si os dije de que a, por habernos acostado con las dos más adelante, creo que, no, que nos, aco no, nos acostamos con las dos a la vez luego más adelante. Pero ¿qué pasa? Que luego nos dicen que hemos jugado con ellas y vamos, que Gerald se queda más solo que la una. Entonces, ¿qué pasa? Pues ahí está la cosa, que tenías que elegir, digamos, a una. Eh, yo anteriormente me acosté ya con Tris, con Jennifer aún no he hecho la misión secundaria que, eh, que tiene que hacer para que pase esas cosas entonces he tenido que volver a pasarme 10 horas de juego, tengo que cargar una partida de hace tiempo lo, con lo de Tris para hacer que se vaya en el barco y no decirle que la queremos y que queremos estar con ella en un futuro así que lo lamento por Tris pero ya os dije que yo siempre he preferido en los libros a Jennifer así que lo siento pero me voy a quedar con Jennifer eh, y eso por si alguno no lo sabe para que lo sepa de que depende de con qué haga la misión secundaria te vas a sacar con una u otra o te vas a sacar con nadie vale lo digo por si a alguien le interesa vale por, para que no le pase como yo que yo he tenido que cargar una partida hace 10 horas y he estado toda la santa noche pasándome esas 10 horas de nuevo y las misiones secundarias hasta volver a donde estoy porque tengo que hacer todas las santas misiones conseguir otra vez todo el equipo y más o menos como estaba ah, como estoy ahora mismo o sea estoy un poco jodido antes de nada voy a ponerme las piedras estas a ver, potencia de ataque, nada. Incineración. Lo voy a poner aquí. Igni. Señal de Queen. Lo voy a poner aquí. Desequilibrar. Lo pongo aquí. Y señal Igni. Ahí también. ¿Esta cuál es? equilibrar la pólvora, vale, pues ya está, y eh, vale, voy a hacer eh, a partir de ahora solo misiones principales y misiones secundarias, atento a esto, vale, porque muchos habéis dicho que las secundarias que no las hago, eh, que son aburridas, están las secundarias, tipo la, la que hicimos de los hijos de este, esas secundarias eh, hay que hacerlas, porque realmente si nada las haces no desbloqueas luego algunas primarias, vale, y como habéis podido ya ver anteriormente, entonces, por ejemplo, ahora vamos a hacer una misión bastante interesante, que es casi como principal, que, que, la, que ahora la, la vamos a desbloquear gracias a que hemos hecho esas dos secundarias. Entonces, eh, misiones de contrato y tal, las haré después de pasarme el juego lo más seguro, o si alguien me dice, haz más contratos, pues haré pues, un capítulo lleno de contratos en vez de hacer un vídeo por contrato. Entonces, eso, voy a hacer solo tramas principales y tramas secundarias que tengan que ver con la trama principal. O de personajes que han salido en los libros y tal, ¿vale? Pues es un poco un resumen de todo lo que ha pasado hasta ahora. Make an exception just for me. All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Vale. Parece ser que van a elegir a un nuevo rey. Y me parece que va a ser tipo lo. ¿Por qué me está empujando este tío? Lo que os dije es que vamos a lo mejor a tener que elegir nosotros quién. Quién va a tener, quién va a ser rey, supongo que la hija o el hijo. Me dijisteis de que la hija la veíais más competente a la hora de ser rey. Realmente estoy ahí, ahí, ¿eh? No sé si elegir al rey o a la reina, o sea, si elegir al, al hijo o a la hija. Por ahora la hija es la que tiene más bono, pero ya veremos. Right 
If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. Watch your mouth smack. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yes. So you'll fight the Vilkards with me. Wonder who'll do better. You or Yalmar the giant slayer. Ah, stop your shite boasting. Zerus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw, she saw. So. My stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> Puto lobo desde atrás ahí. Tenemos que ir para allá. Hay que no hacer la recompensa. Supongo que tenemos que ir a decir quién va a ser rey. Que es una cosa bastante importante. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. As far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best king Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the girls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Bueno. Parece que las cosas están calientes. May I? You must even. Come. I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Gold all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, century and plum brandy. The Hakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote'll turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? <laughs> Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? <coughs> then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler, a kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. 
If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isle as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Hear that? Damn it. That was when we started another round. ¿Qué coño ha pasado ahora? ¡Hostias! ¡Un oso! ¡Un oso los cojones! ¡Son dos! Por cierto, manda una espada, no sé si es mejor. Nah, es peor realmente. ¿Qué coño ha pasado aquí, tío? Some cloth. Gotta stop the bleeding. Quick. Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, sir. To pull through, a shark grabbed my leg once. Albion. He's dead. Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my da. Stow your blade, pup, or crack or lose a son too. You insult me, Lugart, and now you threaten my son. I do not stand for this. Dan, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crete, find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. 
I know where to find the guilty already. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Well, that's what you're talking about. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitors' heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking, and suddenly a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. This young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankards on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Gil, Blueboy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Well, bueno. fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. So many wounds. No wonder he all born bled to death. Vale, tiene que estar la puerta. Eso ya se ha bugueado. Vamos a entrar. La clave tiene que estar por aquí dentro. fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. Tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. O sea, que son lincantropos. Something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Los transformaron en osos o algo. All the horns are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Otrig. Shit, no more than a kid. A ver. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms. Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from somewhere else in this room. Here. Mead. 
it spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Dorf might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Now, vamos a hablar con él. A ver si nos puede echar una mano. La verdad es que me gusta más esta por ahora, porque esto me hace investigar que hay por ahí cortando cabezas. Puede llegar a ser una buena. Aye, but only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind. Soothe it. Summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways. Initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. We have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Hasn't seen it to suit pain. Odalric tried it too. But only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and mardrum. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That all could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I had prepared for the feast. I'd have noticed what might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe. Come on, we could find some clues there. Venga, go. ¿Dónde está la bodega? Hostias, Ceris, date prisa. the traders quickly. Elsewise the warriors will take matters into their own hands. The castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. So does blood. And so he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. Sorry, la puerta. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. 
If we can find out where this barrel came from, looks different. What the? Cabrones. Shit. Sigue a salir por el túnel, ¿sabes? Y ella es la que más lenta va. Shut and the fire broke out. Did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Venga, vamos. Supone que es ahí delante. Ajá, tengo ya culpable. Trail breaks off. Need to find another crew nearby. Must have dropped his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Cornfed's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Atrapa a Ambra. Pues parece que ya sabemos quién es. El cabrón. You voice that idea, but I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants, slander our clan in the process. If she succeeded, Spanrigger would have been left, the only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us, and I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. Apply the poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the Jarls. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crait. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? 
spoon of grant. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Care Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness, Arnvald. Zara speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Cerus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Uncreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Bernard speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Doily, look a dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncreate and lackey? Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Berna to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the maid. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked to the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Berna's right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Olga, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the halls before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Son, we get. I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep, and you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile, or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedine, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? 
will get the nod. Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. in time. They've already started. Some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Bueno, hemos terminado la misión, a ver qué dice Ceris. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. Pues bueno, así ya por fin nos despedimos de, de la gente. Y bueno, tenemos a una nueva nueva reina me parece que... ¡Hostia! no sé, me mataré al final pues nada, espero que os haya gustado realmente porque ha sido una trama bastante interesante, así que espero que os haya gustado porque ha estado muy bien así que nada chicos, en el siguiente capítulo haré igual la visión de desaparecidos de reunirnos con Jenna y con la trama principal a ver si encontramos por fin a Ciri, así que hasta la próxima, chao <música>